Hello again. The other day I made a video showing how you can make tiles like this, which you mould from a rubber stamp. Um, and you, you mould them just with layers of toilet paper and water. Putting them on to the stamp, tamping them down with a little brush, adding another layer. And um, that the card that I made then was a rather larger image with this. Um, it's a Hero Arts, I think. Yeah, Hero Arts stamp, which is a negative stamp, meaning that the ink, when you stamp it, goes around the outside, leaving the image itself as clear card, as plain card, um, which was act actually perfect for the technique of moulding tissue paper, of toilet tissue. Um, but I thought a lot of people may not have a negative stamp like this. Um, and if you make it the other way, um, just from a regular stamp, it doesn't look... If you compare the two of these, let me put them side by side. Can you see? If you see the two of them side by side, this one looks like the flower. This one looks like, well... Well, it's it's all right, but I prefer the look of this one because I can actually see clearly what all the bits are. So this one I did using this stamp from um, Blockhead Stamps, just a layer of tissue paper, tamp it down until I'd got five layers. And then I took it off and waited for it to dry. There's a tiny bit of um, gilding wax on there. Anyway, this one... I did it a slightly different way. Um, didn't put gilding wax on this one. I put um, Spectrum Noir Midas Metallic Pigment Platinum Ink. Put that over the top. And I, I really rather care for it. So I'll show you how I managed to get this way around. And what I used was this. This is stamping foam. And I ordered some thinking that I, w I wanted to use, I thought it would be a good way to um, get my st <laughs> stamps reversed. So I could stamp onto here, put my, um, take it, the print off it, and my stamp would be reversed. I, I made a Christmas card and I used these two little snowmen. But they're both facing the same way. I wanted them facing each other. And I, I don't remember what I used in the end to stamp onto to get the reverse image. But I thought this would be perfect. And I'll try it if I have time at the end just to see. But for now, I'll just show you this, this process to, to get this with that detail. So what you do is this. This is a, a block of um, stamping foam. And what you need to do is to heat it to melt the top surface a little bit so that it will take an impression. So I'm just going to heat it up for about 10 to 15 seconds. still melt and I'm going to press this into it really quite hard I'm gonna to have to stand up for this there we are can you see that let's come in a bit can you see I think it's amazing. I don't know how it works, but I think it's amazing. Anyway, so there is my impression of this stamp. And this was a print taken from that. All I did was some Distress Ink, 
tamped it all over. A mist of water. I held it really high and just misted it and then put a piece of card on and took a print. And I think that's lovely. Um, the one thing, when you do use one of these things, you will notice that the edge of the stamp, whatever shape it is, will be embossed into the the stamping foam. If you use a stamp like this one, for example, where it's being cut kind of close to the raised parts, all those odd edges will show on here. So if you're choosing a stamp to use with some of this stuff, do be careful with what, you know, what the edge of the stamp is like, because it will show on here. So now oh, I, I, I could just do the process of building this up. Put it on. Let's get a drop more water, I think. Make sure it goes into all the crevices. The only trouble with this process is the fact that it takes quite a long time to dry. And I am really not incredibly patient, must be said. I could, um, do I need some more of this? Let's cut some, this in half. Get more onto there. I just do it kind of quickly, but you you need to take a little bit more care with the pressure that you put on the first layer because there's only one layer of tissue on there, um, a toilet tissue. So you do need to be a little bit circumspect with how you use your brush just to make sure you don't go straight through it. As you go down the layers or up the layers, whichever way you care to talk about it, um, you can be a little bit more firm. Just get those in there. Normally I would put about um, about five, four or five layers. So I'll just put another one on for now just to show those who didn't see the, the video the other day. I ordered myself a new um, spray bottle today. I, 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 this one is a, a super one. I had two from a, a retreat I went on and um, one is brilliant. This one's is good, but the other one, you just get great dribbles coming out of it. And um, what I actually wanted was to see if I could get one that's got a really fine mist, like the sort that you you have, for, for, you know, if you've got to wall, um, spray house plants or something to keep them moist. I'm just going to take this off now just to show you. There we are. Do you see? I probably would have done another layer, but this will be fine. But if you pick up that raised part with some form of um, ink or wax, whatever, it will show up beautifully. Um, this one, as I say, is getting, it's still, it's still fairly damp. I'll, I'll have a go. I'll have a go with this and see how, how it goes. Yeah, look at that. I think if it was dry, but it's coming up nicely. There's not much sheen on it at the moment. I think if the paper was drier, I might be able to get a bit more of a sheen. And then when it is absolutely dry, I can buff it a little bit. But isn't that brilliant? And it's so much nicer than having the one that's the back, backwards way around. So... Now, the only other thing I was going to try and show you very quickly is to see if I can um, do a transfer of 
an image to, to reverse it. So these are the, um, where are they from? Create a Smile, German. Um, you see, there's this one looking this way and this one's looking this way as well. So if I turn him to face the other way, they could be buddies, couldn't they? So let's try. Is that smooth? Let's try it. Okay, I need some ink. Here's some Versafine Onyx. Let's just see how we get on. to work. I may have to just um, go over the lines with a, a fine tip pen. We'll see. There he is facing the other way to the way he was stamped. So I think it's kind of useful. I um, I'm going to do a bit more experimenting with this stuff. I'll forget this off fairly quickly because it's indelible, sort of indelible ink. And I don't want to um, put, I don't know what, what the um, stays on, you know, the uh, spirit ink would um, remover would do to the foam. And I don't want to ruin the surface. I did on one of them. Which one was it? A little um, adhesive pearl, I think it was in there, a little adhesive pearl fell onto it and got stuck. And when I tried to pull it off, there was a little hole. Um, and although I heated it, it still stayed there. But I have I think this is the one I've used and I can't see it. So perhaps I got away with it. Anyway, there's something else for you to have a little go at. Um, this is great. This, you can get it all over the place. I think this, I got it on eBay or somewhere, and it's not ex incredibly expensive. I think the four of these were less than less than five pounds. So you know, I, and you use it over and over again. So it's, when you want to do something else with it, you just heat it up, and it uh, disappears. So there you go. Something else to have a go at. Thanks for watching.